Well, the garden was a whole nother story. It basically, when you looked outside the living room doors or the kitchen doors, it was like a jungle. Lots of um, truckloads of dirt that left. It's probably our, you know, favorite thing about the house. So it was worth all the, the work and the time. Hi, this is Mark D. Sykes. Um, I'm an interior decorator in Los Angeles, and we're here visiting my home in the Hollywood Hills. Well, we moved to LA in 2009, and it's a 1932 house in the Hollywood Hills. It's Regency with Mediterranean details. It was a really great structure, you know, a really great floor plan. Um, it just needed to be updated. The house is built in the 1930s, um, so it's pretty norm for houses in the Hollywood Hills from the 30s to have sunken rooms. All the windows are arched. Uh, the windows on the sides and in the back um, open their doors. The back arched windows um, lead out to the garden. And the garden sits right off of the kitchen and right off of the living room. This is probably my favorite space. We planted everything 10 years ago or nine years ago, and it's really um, just taken off. The gardens are just a really simple combination of uh, ficus and fig ivy on the walls, boxwood balls, myrtle topiaries, and then seasonally we change out all the potted flowers. So sometimes there's lavender, and right now there's geraniums. We're in the Hollywood Hills, and we're not far from Sunset Boulevard, but when you're out here, you feel very removed and it's very kind of, you feel like you're in a sanctuary. When we recently redid the library's last guest bedroom, we put in my stripe, one of my stripes from Schumacher fabric collection um, in the room. And off, again, like the dining room, put the fabric on everything. Uh, so yes, you know I, I, you know, I think that's the most fulfilling, gratifying thing is when you can surround yourself with things, not only things you love, but things that you've designed and that they kind of work in the mix. Uh, and the house has evolved a lot over the last 10 years. You know, when we first, you know, did the house, you know, it was more neutral, there was greasy wallpaper in the dining room, and then the second go around, we, you know, kind of wanted to feel a little bit more formal. Um, and then the third iteration, the last iteration was, you know, really, you know, with everyone, our, you know, our lives were changing and they were evolving, we're using our house differently, we wanted it to be more functional, so it became more casualized. So, you know, it's just, it's definitely, you know, had some different looks, but I think what's interesting is if you look closely, it's all the same pieces, they just kind of get moved around and, you know, and I think that's really a testament to, you know, surrounding yourself with what you love and it can work, you know, the things you love can work in any kind of aesthetic environment. Always inspired by, you know, iconic places that I love. Um, you know, I love, you know, Oscar de Laurentiis house in Punta Cana and Bunny and John's house, La Colina in Punta Cana, Givenchy's house in the south of France. Easy, breezy, traditional look is what we love. One of the spaces that were renovated when we um, moved into the house, we took a galley kitchen and like kind of a maid's room and we combined it into one big large living space. And I think the kind of fun, unique thing here is the bookcases kind of like, you know, on one side of the room kind of anchoring or balancing out the cabinets in the kitchen. So this is our master bedroom. Really wanted to have that indoor-outdoor connection. The master bedroom really does overlook the gardens, so this is kind of the view that we wake up to every morning. And this is our guest bedroom, and um, our guests love spending time in this room. I am a big lover of, you know, batiks and Indian prints and Mojols and all that kind of look and I think this is one of my favorite fabrics. And this terrace overlooks downtown LA so sometimes in the, at night you can really see the lights of downtown LA so this is like our view and then it also has a view of the gardens. Yeah well we've been you know collecting for years and there's always these things you're initially drawn to and then as you travel you start you know collecting things over time. First and foremost is I'm, I love magazines, I love print, and I've been collecting magazines since I was 18. So I have a pretty vast magazine collection that has moved with me from apartment to apartment, from house to house. And this whole area is all fashion. I have Vogue magazines that go back all the way to 1985. You know, French Vogue, British Vogue, 
Italian Vogue, all here. Fashion with some shelter. Um, over here is where all the home magazines are. Definitely uh, a, a library that I go back to for inspiration over and over. And then we have tons of books, you know, like most people do, but you know, I kind of have a problem. I, I, you know, everywhere I go, I try to get a book. And, and then there's other little things. We love boxes, we collect boxes, we collect blue and white, we collect baskets. Um, Michael collects little vintage and um, antique pill cases. And all those collections are, you know, kind of sprinkled throughout the house. I think that's what really makes a home is, you know, acquiring different things and surrounding yourself with the things you love. And it also personalizes the home. Thanks everyone for coming to visit our house. <laughs>